Hey guys, it's Julia here, and we're back with another Looking Back, which after this video, there's only going to be three Looking Backs left, and I do start school tomorrow. However, I should be able to just, you know, get them done since there's only three more. It's not that many left, and I know what I'm going to do for most of them, so... Anyway, with this one, we have another Dell Latitude, and this is an older one. It's a Latitude D531. Now, I had another one I was going to show in this video as well, which is this D630 over here, which you can see that this D630 is very beaten up. If I open it, it's like the screen's all broken on it and stuff like that. It is a D630, and it used to work, actually, except the screen just obviously doesn't work. It used to power on, but I'll show you guys what it does before we actually look at the other one and why I couldn't really do anything. I will plug it in. It just powers off. So I'll turn the light off, push the button, and it just powers off again. And I'll move it closer so you can hear it. And that's all it does. I've tried everything. I couldn't get it to power up. I even tried a different charger. Still nothing. And it used to power up, but that's all it does now. I know it had that issue in the past, However, I before got around it because I would just keep trying to power it on and eventually it would power on, but that is not working this time. I tried it a ton of times. I don't think there's a battery in it. Yeah, there's no battery in it, so I can't try it with a battery. But let's just open this up and power up this D531 and see what's on it. Now, like I said, while this is powering up, I'll show you guys that I have a plan for it, but this computer is, um, oh yeah, when we, oh, that was loud. Yeah, we know the time and date isn't set. The CMOS battery is probably bad. Let's just continue anyway. You know, it's crazy how this series has gone on for so long, but as I said, there's not very many left. I do start school, so I can't promise a Wednesday video. I will try, but it really just depends on how busy I am because I didn't think I'd start this soon. You guys can see it's on something newer because it's the, you know, Windows 8 slash 10 logo. And this is a Vista era system. All right, so it finally powered up. You guys can see it's Windows 10 and it's like really slow and I plan to wipe this in the video because this is just really old and yeah. Well, the install is old and it's running 1909, as you can see. So let's see if we can pull up the system info. I have a better OS for this, and if it doesn't go as planned, I'll end up reinstalling it at a point later on. Alright, so this is our system info, because the CMOS battery is bad, it thinks it was installed on the same day, but that's not true, because it's obviously 2022 of August now. So, the last time I guessed that I worked on this was January 2020, and then I put it away and didn't touch it, so... This is definitely an install that I messed with and then put away and then forgot about it. And it's really slow, to be honest. It's not the fastest. I see crystal disk info on here though. So let's actually see if the drive health is good. Cause I'm honestly curious to know if this drive is good or bad. And the drive's failing. That's lovely because we have caution for the reallocated sector count, so I might end up replacing the drive, but it'll do for now. I do have a lot of drives, I might go through them for a video. I'm not sure yet. Let me know if you guys want to see that. But the amount of time this was used, 466 days and five hours, it's been powered on 1,763 times. It's a 160 gig drive that is failing. So, that's not surprising. It's been running for over a year. I don't know what some of this what some of these files are. I don't think I care to back anything up though. 
What in the world is this? It's like updates or something. Update installer. Let's open this. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm probably gonna break it. WSUS offline update. That's nice. I guess I used it on here. Looks like there's Windows 7 updates. Because W61 is Windows 7. Yeah. There's a ton of Windows 7 updates in here. I might actually make a copy of that. Because it might have all the 7 updates. I don't think there's much things installed on here. There's some things in here from like a long time ago, but nothing really. There isn't a lot. You see system reserved. There's a Windows dot old. What is, what version is this? I bet you it's seven. While I'm reinstalling it, I will talk about the history though of this computer. Yep, that's Windows 7. I think I had 7 on here and upgraded it to 10 for some reason, which this thing does not belong on 10. I'm just gonna wipe this computer. There's nothing really special. So this is my vent toy, my new vent toy. But I'm also going to back up the stuff to it because I can use it as a flash drive as well if I want to. Fix Windows 7 updates x86, that's a great file name. I said it's on the desktop. It's not on the desktop, though. It was probably deleted because there's stuff in the recycle bin. Yeah, it was deleted. Okay. Well, I don't care about that stuff. That's a great name. If that's x86, this must be x86 then. Let me show you guys the specs. Windows 10 Pro, Dell Latitude D531, it's still with the Dell branding, that's really cool. Four gigs of RAM. How does it have the Dell branding? This might be an OEM install. Although I don't think it was. And it is 32-bit on X64, so I don't know if this is OEM or not but it looks like it could be. But I'm actually not sure. I don't remember. Oh, there goes the fan, that's loud. Yeah, I don't think that's OEM unless like the stuff gotten removed. I wonder if the fan works. Yeah, I think it works. It's blowing out hot air in the back. The CPU might have to be repasted. Well, I'm going to boot to my vent toy in just a few minutes. Let me just see if there's anything else on here. And I will be back with booting it on vent toy to save some time. All right, guys. So I'm going to install Windows Vista with the extended kernel on this laptop because I want to see how it performs on it and mess with it and stuff like that. Because I don't have much experience with Vista. I did have to make a USB, this is my old Ventoy, but I had to make one because for some reason it would not boot my Ventoy. I even tried recreating it and it still wouldn't boot, so I really don't know why. I mean, I just decided to make a USB because it wouldn't boot my Ventoy for some reason and I'm not sure why even recreating it didn't do anything, so yeah. But hey, at least I got it now. Now I did install this on the Lenovo ThinkPad T61 I showed in a previous video. I don't think I told you guys this, but you know how one of them had a broken screen and the keyboard was messed up and the casing was bad, but then the other one had just, you know, the motherboard wasn't working? Well, I decided to swap the motherboards between the cases and I have a good working T61 now that has a working screen and the keyboard is better and the casing is better and it pretty much works perfectly. And yeah, I installed Vista on it with the extended kernel, but it just it seems to be a little bit slow. I don't know. I want to see how it performs on this system. 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep Vista on that system or if I'm gonna put Windows 7 on it, but I wanna try it on this one. This took a while to load, but I'm just actually gonna do Enterprise because why not? But one thing I will say about this, I'm just gonna install this and then I'm probably going to go to bed and mess with it another day. But once this gets installing, I'm gonna explain about this computer, so I will be back while we wait again. Alright, so it finally loaded after like five minutes. I don't know why it's like really slow. It's probably gonna take another five minutes just to get to the next screen again, so... I don't know why, but it's something with this ISO. It just takes a while. Alright, so we finally got somewhere so we can do a custom install. Let's hope this doesn't take a billion years to load again. It looks like it's being slow, which I just don't understand. It's done this on multiple computers, so I'm just gonna have to delete the partitions now because I don't care about any of the stuff on them. I just want to wipe it. Plus the hard drive is failing anyway, which will eventually replace it. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna keep this on here, to be honest. I just want to try it for a bit. And then I'll probably do something else. I don't know. I have a lot of computers. I did manage to get rid of a lot of them, though, but I might get rid of more. I'll let this apply and make its partitions. Okay, it did load. I thought it was going to take 10 billion years and stopped it, but... Let's just click install and let it install. And while this installs, I'll tell you guys. So you guys know I messed with it back in January 2020. That's because I got the computer in... December 2019 technically, but that was when I was on vacation. I did arrive home in 2020 of January and I took it with me because apparently this computer was one of their old ones and it didn't start anymore. It was my mom's roommate's computer and they just had it laying around. It didn't work. They didn't even have the charger for it, so I couldn't even test it. So I just took it back home because I have chargers and I was able to plug it in. And it did have a Windows Vista install that did not want to boot. It was stuck in like an update loop, like a configuring updates loop, where it would update and then it would just reboot. And it would do that over and over. I'll try and find screenshots if I can of what it was doing. But I ended up working on it during that time. And I think I remember now, I was working on a computer adventure. I actually have screen recordings, I think, or capture card recordings of working on it. But... I'm not sure if I'm ever going to post that as a video or not. I don't even remember it. I might go back and look through it and see, but maybe I'll time lapse it or something like that. I really don't know. So yeah, I pretty much have those videos still, but they're just, you know, they're just sitting somewhere. I don't even know where they are. But I think I remember, and I think that's what happened, was what I did is I upgraded this computer from 7 to 10 after I reinstalled it. Although I don't know how it has the Dell branding. That I don't know. I might have to like look back in the video. Maybe I used a Dell ISO or something like that and it added it. I really don't know. But I am going to look back at that stuff. And I might upload that as a video if you guys are interested in seeing the videos of me working on this from like two years ago. Let me know almost three years ago because it was January 2020 that I had those recorded. So if you guys are interested, let me know and I might show them in a video. But this computer is pretty, you know, old and stuff like that, which I'm just going to show you guys screenshots. I think of it being in Vista because I'm going to actually go to bed. I'm going to leave this installing overnight. It's going to take a while because one, it's a hard drive. Two, it's a failing hard drive. And three, this ISO takes a while to install. So I'm just going to let it install overnight and go to bed because I'm really tired right now. However, I will say this. I know that the last few looking backs may not be as exciting. But that's also because I don't necessarily know what to do with the computers. And a lot of these don't have very much of a backstory because... Not every computer of mine has a very good backstory, so that's like the thing. I know my desktop had a pretty good one, but not every computer I have really has a good backstory to them. A lot of them are just, oh, it was given to me. And especially this one, I really didn't mess with it much at all. And it's not a very good system either, so I just, you know, leave it in my closet a lot of the time and not mess with it. But 
The next video, I'll tell you guys what it's going to be of, because why not? But it's probably going to be that Acer netbook I have, which I know I have showed on a few videos, and I do have something interesting planned to do with that one. So you guys will see when I get to that. It should be on Friday, but I'll record it when I have some free time, when I'm not in class and stuff like that. But that one will probably be more interesting. Hopefully it won't be as slow as this computer because this is just taking so long that I can't show the entire process for this video. But I did show what was on it. I did talk about the backstory and I'm telling you what I'm doing with it now. So I guess, you know, that's good enough. And as I said, maybe in the future I'll do videos on other things with these computers. If you guys have any ideas, leave a comment and I'll consider it. Anyways, I gotta go and stop the video, so thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.